Windows 10 reaches end of life on October 14th, 2025. For businesses, Microsoft offers three more years of extended security updates, but at a steep cost that doubles every year. For consumers though, options were limited, either run Windows 10 with no security updates, upgrade to Windows 11 if your hardware supports it, or jump ship to Linux. That left a lot of perfectly good computers without an easy path forward. Thankfully, Microsoft has changed course. After seeing how many people are still running Windows 10, they've now given consumers the ability to enroll their devices for extended security updates until October 13th, 2026. Even better, one of the three enrollment options is completely free. Of course, it comes with some strings attached. You'll have to drink the Microsoft Kool-Aid. I'll explain exactly what that means later on in this guide. In this video, I'll show you the requirements you'll need for the enrollment option to appear, a method to force the enrollment if it doesn't show up for you, and finally, the step-by-step -step process to enroll your Windows 10 device in extended security updates. Every website I reference will be linked in the description below. Feel free to use the video's timeline to skip straight to the enrollment process if you don't need help making that option appear. Now just a quick note, this guide is strictly for consumer devices. The process for business and enterprise devices is very different. And before we dive in, if you'd like to support my channel, consider donating via Ko-Fi or Patreon. Every bit goes right back into making new guides. All right, with that all out of the way, let's get started. So just as I mentioned, there are the two prerequisites that are needed in order for you to unlock the extended support updates. So let me go ahead and show you those two pieces that are needed. If you go down to the bottom left corner, hit the start menu, and then just type in about. Just like that, hit enter. Now the about page has changed recently. This is the newest version of it. Some older versions will display the information we need right off the bat, right on this page without having to scroll down. However, the new version, if you scroll down to the bottom, we're looking for the version. And so the version is 22H2. If you are not on version 22H2, then that immediately will make it so that you will not be able to opt in for the extended updates. Let me show you how to force update your machine to 22H2. There's going to be a few methods I'll show. I'll close out of this just for right now. So if you go to the start menu again, click the gear for settings, go to update and security, and then you can do check for updates. And of course, because mine has the requirements, it is showing us this option, which I'll go over in a little bit here. So then what should hopefully happen is it should say that there's a, that there's some pending updates and one of them might be to jump to 22H2. If that does not pop up, the alternative is to open the web browser of your choice. In my case, I'll just open Edge. And then in the URL bar, let's just delete out what we've got here. And then just do a search for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Hit Enter. And then look for the one that mentions the disk image ISO file. Click on that. And just as I'd mentioned, I will have links for all the things you see in the description below. So basically what you would do is you would just see Windows 10 2022 update version 22H2. You can click on update now. It will download an executable file, run that file. You'll need admin rights in order to do that. And then just go through the paces and that will force upgrade your machine to 22H2. And then once that is done, and then go back to start settings, update and security, and then do a check for updates just to make sure that everything is pulled down and then give that time to crunch on everything if any new updates do pop up. So if you're already on 22H2, then let's just double check that you have the required base update that you need. So if you go to view update history, and then we're looking for KB5062649. So as you can see here, there's the KB number on the end of all of these. So let's try to hunt down that number. And here it is on my machine right here under the quality updates. So in theory, this machine should be good to go for the enrollment to opt in for the extended security updates. However, if I close out of that again, go to start, settings, update and security, you might find that this additional piece that you see right here where it says Windows 10 support ends in October 2025, enroll in extended security updates to help keep your device secure, this may not show up. 
And that's because Microsoft appears to be doing a slow roll activation of machines that is generally outside of your control to actually activate on your machine. Microsoft has mentioned that on all machines that are still running Windows 10, that this capability will be enabled on all machines before the October deadline. But let me actually show you a trick to force this to actually show up as an option if you don't see it on your machine. I will mention that this does require editing your registry, and if you're not feeling comfortable with that, then really the best thing to do is just wait and keep periodically checking back in your Windows updates for this to appear. However, let me show you the process of forcing your machine to allow this to pop up for you. So first in the description below, you'll find the link for the askwoody.com website, and this is gonna go through a few steps that we'll want to crunch on. And I'm just gonna copy and paste from this, but I'll show you exactly what we need to do. So in the start menu in the bottom left, fire that up and let's type in PowerShell, all one word, and then click on run as administrator. This is going to be key. You're gonna get the UAC prompt, select yes for that. And then I'm just gonna move these so that's side by side here. But just as it mentioned, install the KB5062649, which you would have confirmed the machine has. And of course it needs to have 22H2 as the version. So the first thing we need to do is copy this line and paste it right into the PowerShell terminal, hit enter. And then the key thing to look at is this right here. Notice the zero X zero. So just as it mentions here, if the ESU eligibility value is non-zero, AKA zero X zero, then this feature is already enabled. So now what we need to do is we need to run these two commands copy the first one in, paste it in, hit enter. And if you get a message that says it's already started or something like that, then you can move on and then copy the bottom line out, paste it in, hit enter. And this failed message is fine because it mentions that an instance of the service is already running. So that is fine. Next up, copy this line and paste it in and hit enter. The operation completes successfully. And then it mentions to restart the system. And at this point, after we restart the system, then everything should be happy. So we'll close out of all of this, and then we'll go to start, power option, and then restart. And then once the machine is back up, then hopefully this now appears for you. If it still doesn't appear, then unfortunately, my recommendation is to just wait until this activates all by itself on your machine. But generally speaking, that should work the magic for you. Anyhow, at this point, we can go through the processes of enrolling the machine in the updates. Now, the thing to mention is that you're not going to see the benefit of this enrollment until after October comes. So your, your November, your December, your January, and so on updates will be activated. But like I said, you won't see those until the end of life in quotes happens of Windows 10. At least at the date of me making this video in August of 2025, you're still going to get the September and the October updates just as you normally would. And then the extended updates will then kick in on the months after that for one full year. All right, so before we click on enroll now, there's an option to change up that will actually allow us to select three different options for the enrollment process. Now by default, usually Windows has the settings backup turned on automatically, which is going to make it so that if we enroll now, it's going to immediately choose the first option of the enrollment, which is going to opt us in for free enrollment, but it's going to back our settings up to the cloud. If you want to see all three different options, then go ahead and follow the steps I'm about to do. Let's go to the top left corner and click the arrow and then go to accounts and then Windows Backup, and then let's turn all of these off. And just to be safe for the Remember My Preferences, let's turn all of these off, starting from the bottom up, just to make sure that they're all actually turned off. Next, we can go back to Settings, Update and Security, click on Enroll Now, and then it's just mentioning the end of support for October 14th, 2025, unless we opt in, which we're going to attempt to do right now. So let's click on Next. And then you will need to sign in with a Microsoft account. 
If you don't currently have a Microsoft account, you can click on create one. However, in my case, I do already have one created, so I will continue on and then click on next and then type in your password for your Microsoft account and click on sign in. So then now we're going to see the three different options. If we didn't turn the backup settings off, then it would have automatically have selected this option, which may not be a big deal. However, if you're planning to not give Microsoft your setting information, your app information and credentials and whatnot, then you may want to choose a different option. For instance, you may want to use the redeem Microsoft reward points, in which case if you had a thousand points on your account, then you could opt in for that. As you can see here, mine mentions you don't have enough points. And if I click on it, again, it mentions I don't have enough points. Now, quite frankly, you can probably get a thousand points before the end of life of Windows 10 in October of 2025. So you, you could just put a pause to this, hit go back, and then start accruing points through Bing searches and, and whatnot. The other option is going to be the one-time purchase where you pay $29.99 plus applicable taxes and continue on. So quite frankly, the easiest method is going to be that top one about backing up your settings. That is, like I said, as long as you're okay with Microsoft having that information in the cloud. And with this being the free option and easiest to do, at least for the sake of this video, that's what I'm going to choose. But like I said, you can feel free to choose any of these options that work best for you. One thing also just to mention is that the one-time purchase option for $29.99 plus applicable taxes option actually gives you the power of allowing for extended support updates for up to 10 machines as long as you sign in with your Microsoft account on those machines. So you pay $30 once or however much it is with taxes, and then you could sign into to nine other machines, 10 counting this one, and those would have the extended support updates. So just something to keep in the back of your mind in your judgment on what you wanna move forward with. But anyhow, I'm going to choose the easiest and free option, and that is to back up my settings to the cloud so I'm going to click next. And this is just mentioning what I'm about to move forward with. If you accidentally selected an option, then you should have the go back feature to go back to the three option steps. Worst case, if you're also not sure on which path to go, you could always just go back and delay the, the whole process until you're ready for it. Anyhow, I'll click next. And like I said, this is just mentioning the option I'm going down. So I'll now click on enroll and then you'll see this for a brief moment. And then it should mention you're enrolled in extended security updates through October 13th, 2026. So that buys you a year. And then you just click done and then you are ready to rock and roll. So that's all you need to do to enroll in the Windows 10 extended security updates. If you found this video to be useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my latest video happenings. I also invite you to check out my channel if you haven't already as it has many interesting guides and many more to come. Anyhow, until next time, take it easy.